Jeremy with All Time Reptiles here. Um, just rolled out of bed. Uh, I got to get ready for the day. I've got a lot of stuff to do. Um, during this this day, I'm going to try and show you guys how to, you know, ship your snakes. I don't know if that'll help you guys out or not, but um, I've got five of them going out today. And then I have some personal stuff to take care of today. But wanted to give one good last look before I pop back up on camera. Um, so, yeah. Hey, what's up, everybody? Um, just got done showering. I figured uh, I'd let you guys check it out. Uh, I'm down in my snake room checking it out, uh, making sure everything's good. But yeah, I shaved my goatee and mustache. Um, I'm definitely going to grow it back. Um, I'm hoping longer. So, um, yeah, I wanted to show you that before we started um, packaging some snakes to ship. So, Alright guys, kind of a little rundown on the stuff I've got. You know, you always need your bags. Um, definitely make sure you got bags for them. You know, heat packs. You know, you definitely need the heat packs. Um, I always do the 40 hour. I actually had one <clears throat> snake come to my house that didn't make it. And ever since that, I made sure I had it almost two days worth of heat pack for them. Um, and then I've got, <clears throat> you know, you can go buy like an old pillow and pull the stuffing out of, a, uh, out of the pillows. You know, I... I usually, you can buy this at like any craft place. So, that you need. Boxes with your foam liners. Um, make sure you get the ones that say perishable on them. Um, that's definitely a good thing. Um, they have all the little foam panels that come with them. You can get them, you know, Reptile Basics. You can get them through TSK. You can get them through a whole bunch of different suppliers. You know, just Google it and check it out. Um, I do have my shipping labels. Make sure you got your tape. You know, the basic stuff. Um, and yeah, we'll get going. Make sure when you guys do your foam, if you can see, you just kind of step it in there. You know, you start with one and just keep overlapping the other one, and it should fit just fine. Um, and then all I do is I, I start putting some of this, I just shred some of this, um, I don't even, cotton, I don't know what it is, but it's, it just kind of breaks apart. It's, you buy a new pillow, it's just the stuff inside of a new pillow. Um, a lot of craft stores have it. So I just kind of pack it in there. Pack the bottom first, kind of pack it in there. Kind of make a little spot. 
so so they have a nice little ride and all the way there so I'll kind of show you you just kind of pack that stuff in there so that's what I do um, and then when I get to when I actually get going on it I'll bag up the snake I'll put the snake in the bag I'll tie it real tight um, a lot of people hate zip ties I hate zip ties I like zip ties um, you can you can do it however you want you just gotta make sure that bag's secure and then all you'll do is you'll you'll take your heat pack and what you'll do is you'll open the heat pack and you'll shake it up and let it sit on the counter for a minute while you finish all your stuff um, and then you'll take that actually to the top of the lid so when you put the when you put the lid down you just set it right down and it sits right down not on top but just above the snake so um, got my boxes made up I'm not ready to bag them up yet usually you wait till the end of the day to do that um, but another thing you do um, I'll probably do that right now is I've got some perishable or, uh, some tags that I put on the outside let's see if I can find them So I've actually got this, and usually whoever you go through um, to do your shipping, um, I go through Reptile Express. Some people go to ship your reptiles or reptiles to you, or you know, there's tons of places out there. Um, but usually, what I'll do is I'll tape one of those on each side of the box, and then you label the box on top with your shipping label. So. Um, when I get ready to box them up, I'll finish videoing it, and we'll go from there. Okay, let's finish this up, guys, real fast. I'm back, and I'm going to start writing on the bags what they are, so people know. And we'll get the heat packs going. Okay, first one. What was the first one? set up in there you do is you open them shake them up and you 
just leave them out. Best to do this before you get them out. It takes these a little bit to warm up. Then you can make sure they're working before you before you put your snakes in there. I'll go grab some snakes and I'll be back. Okay, got them. Butter pin, sneaky butter pin. Okay. So, best way, lay it flat, put it right in the center, and then you grab your tape. Make sure the red line's up. I'm done. I usually try and wrap it all the way around. Two down.
Okay, first one. And it's best if you have this stuff out, pull it handy. Then pull some more if you need to. And then after that, I usually write on it. Right here.
Um, just wanted to give you an idea. I got the auction ones going out. Um, so yeah. All right, boxer shipped. Congratulations to the winners on the auction. Um, you guys will have your new ones tomorrow by 10.30 a.m. Um, I hope this video helped you guys. Um, there's multiple different ways to ship reptiles. Um, I know geckos are different, you know, they go in containers. Um, different bedding that people put inside. So, so I usually do that stuff that, it kind of looks like the stuff that comes out of a pillowcase. So I either go to like the craft store and buy the stuff. Or what I'll do is I'll, I'll buy just some cheap pillow. You know the pillows that nobody likes because they get lumpy? So that, that material in there. Um, I've seen shredded paper. Um, and I hate shredded paper. If you guys ever receive snakes in the mail and you've had shredded paper, you know exactly what I'm talking about. 